Since the advent of the compression and adjustable struts, particularly ones like this, we found that it's easier and much more effective to treat calcaneal fractures with X-Fix than it is with open reduction internal fixation. We don't know exactly how many patients will progress to fusion of a subtalar joint. Some studies say it's upwards of 80%. The beauty of doing it with external fixation is even if they do require a subtalar fusion at some point in their life, we don't have to go in there and remove hardware. So therefore the subtalar fusion becomes a primary procedure instead of a secondary procedure with hardware removal. That maintains our soft tissue envelope. So the technique is pretty straightforward. A tibial block is placed with one reference wire here, one half pin here, angle to take the forces away from the leg, and two cross distal wires right here. The forefoot is then held in place with two olive wires in opposing directions, minimally tension. And that holds the forefoot nice and stable, as you can see. And these wires actually weren't even tension. Now the technique involves taking a half pin through the posterior aspect of the heel, elevating and reducing bowler's angle and the critical angle of just same. If you can do that, you should have a decent result. So, and this is going to go posterior in the center and body of the calcaneus. Now it should be done under fluoro with care being taken not to violate any of the fracture sites. And then we remove. Now, this will now act as a joystick that I can move the calcaneus in any direction I want. By attaching it to this ring here, I can now just like the pilot of an airplane, fly the calcaneus into whatever position I want. Under fluoro, I'll get that completely reduced. So, what we're going to do now, and I will actually be able to take and put this in whatever position I want, and my assistant will crank that down when I get it into position, and pretty much at that point we're done. All we have to do is connect it to here, and there's various ways that we can do that. This actually will relocate the posterior facet. The only thing that you can do, or have to do, is to add another wire on the lateral wall of the calcaneus in order to bring the lateral wall in. So we can, the nice thing about these struts is we can pretty much make them any length we want. So taking two 100s obviously makes a 200, taking two 150s obviously makes a 300. We can make them the size we want. So pretend you're reducing it. So I'm going to reduce it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it into position. It's under fluoro. I get it where I want it. Tighten this down. I tighten this one down here. And that keeps it. No, that's exactly right. And then add a couple more struts for stability if you need to, which we will put one here. This is completely stable. You can see the medial longitudinal arch of the foot is over exaggerated and maintained. And you can go ahead and look at this and find that that foot is completely stable. And now, like I said, if you had to, you can throw an olive right here to bring in the lateral wall if you need to. And you do need to connect another strut here, but you can do that without any difficulty. You have to, or if you need to. You need to because it's not going to be stable without it. But by just yeah, because you're going to plan on Right. And then you do need to connect this. You do need to connect these two so that you don't get any rotation in that plane which is easy to do. All right, so you'll put one here, and then another one here. That'll connect these two. And then it'll be stable in that plane. And this is a, a reduction and fixation. It's a percutaneous reduction. Right? Percutaneous reduction of the calcaneal fracture, which is probably one of the most difficult fractures to treat in the body. You can, go anywhere. Yeah. You can put this anywhere you want. You take one post here. And a nut.
did this really quick, but you can bring that plate out. Okay. Yeah, you can rotate anything you need to, but if you look at this, you can't move this frame. Yeah, let me see. Now go ahead and put it under a floral if you want. want to adjust this, right? we just loosen you just loosen those and you can put it in any position you want. Push it in where you want. Go ahead and put it under the floral.